Prince Harry does want to come back to see family and friends, his lawyer has said as a high court battle with the Home Office over police protection began today, Friday. The Duke of Sussex is demanding that the government let him pay for police protection himself while his family are in the UK. This is so he and his family can visit the UK safely. As the case began, Shahid Fatima QC, representing the Duke, told Mr Justice Swift, this claim is about the fact that the Duke does not feel safe when he is in the UK given the security arrangement supplied to him in June 2021 and will continue to be applied if he decides to come back. It goes without saying that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. This is and always will be his home. Prince Harry lost his taxpayer-funded protection when he and Meghan Markle decided to step back from being full-time royals and move to America. Then President Donald Trump said that his country would not pay for their protection in the US. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex then enlisted privately funded security arrangements. A legal representative for Prince Harry has previously said he wants to bring his children to visit from America. However, his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous. He is claiming his private US protection team does not have adequate jurisdiction in the UK, or access to UK intelligence information, which is necessary to keep his family safe. The Duke inherited a security risk at birth, for life when he was born into the royal family. His legal representative added, while his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not, nor has the threat to him and his family. The prince remains willing to cover the cost of security, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. Prince Harry's bid for a review of the Home Office decision was filed in September. Friday's preliminary hearing in London is expected to cover what elements of the court documents can be made public, and which must stay private. In January, the Mail on Sunday reported that the Home Office is refusing to back down in the legal battle. A security source told the newspaper, when Harry left the firm the terms of his divorce were clear. Like other members of the public, he and his wife are not able to hire armed cops at will, no matter how much they offer to pay. The source said the private security the Sussexes have in the US could not be replicated in the UK because we don't allow people to wander the street with guns here. They added that other minor royals manage to function in normal life without armed guards. The Home Office was reportedly refusing to blink on the matter. Prince Harry briefly returned to the UK from Los Angeles last summer, for the unveiling of the Princess Diana Memorial statue in the Kensington Palace Gardens, alongside Prince William. The day beforehand, he had met seriously ill children at a well-child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens. It is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left. Security and privacy have been two key issues for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, after Prince Harry witnessed his late mother suffer invasions of privacy.